Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In this particular video we are going to learn how you can ingest data in the new Amazon S3 fully managed Apache iceberg table with Kinesis Adera Firos. So it's a complete managed pipeline by AWS. So in this video we are going to learn uh, how we can set up Kinesis Firos, the rules, permission, what all things you need to do and how you can set up a completely managed pipeline into the new Amazon S3 table buckets. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. All right, so before we begin the hands-on lab, I will quickly point out a resources which will be useful for you guys. So this is the AWS blog post and they have described all the steps over here. So this, this is very helpful. And also they have, uh, you know, uh, a documentation page on which basically tells you what roles and policies you, you need to use. I'll go over them shortly. So, but again, just pointing out the resources. So now let's begin the hands-on lab. All right, so the first step is we need an Amazon S3 table buckets. You can create one by heading to your AWS management console and on the uh, left hand side, you'll see table buckets and then just click on create table buckets, give it a name and then click on create table buckets. Once you have done, make sure you enable the integration. I have already done that. Okay. So step one, just go ahead and create the Amazon S3 table buckets. The next step, once you uh, have created the Amazon S3 table buckets, we need to create a namespace. So I'll use the CLI, it's easier to do with CLI. So AWS uh, S3 tables create namespace. I'm gonna provide the ARN for my table buckets. You can find the ARN over here, this is the ARN, okay? So that's the ARN that I'm gonna use and the namespace is gonna be S3 tables underscore demo underscore namespace. So let's copy this and paste this on terminal and here you can see I got the response back. So the namespace has been created. Now, the next step is we need to create a sample table with it. Again, you can use Athena or use a CLI. I, I prefer CLI. So again, I'm gonna create a sample table, AWS S3 tables, create tables, CLI input JSON, and then I'm gonna provide the JSON, okay? Let's take a look at the JSON. This is how the JSON looks like. Again, I'm simply providing the schema, okay? That's it, okay? So let's execute this. And parabim parabom, that's done. And if I uh, probably refresh here, uh, go here, here you can see that particular uh, table and that particular namespace. Again, there's no data in it. We just created a, a table, okay? So step two, go ahead and create this particular sample table. Use Athena or the CLI, whichever one you are most uh, comfortable with. All right, so the next step is we need to work with lake formation. So let's go ahead and do that. So first, what we will do is we'll, we'll create a database, okay, in Gloom. I'm gonna create in UST East one and then the catalog ID is gonna be this format, account ID colon the catalog slash the table bucket name, okay? And this is the namespace uh, which we will be using, okay? So I'm gonna copy this and uh, run the command. As you can see, it ran successfully. Now let's go to lake formation and then let's head over to databases over here and let's refresh and here you should see S3 table resource link now, what you will do is uh, select uh, your resource link, okay? So I'm gonna select that. Action, grant, okay? I already have a, uh, what you call, uh, a role created, again. So I'm gonna use that role, Firehose Glue S3 Tables role, right? And then from here, I'll select the default catalog. And then uh, 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 when I scroll down, I'll select the S3 table resource link, tables, I'll select all tables over here. And then I'll just do super, super for now. Click on grant. Cool, so that's done. Now again, let's head over to database. Select the radio button, action, grant on target. I'll select my role, okay? And now this time, just quickly uh, going through the, 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 the documentation at this point. Now we're gonna select over here, the catalog. This is the catalog that we will select database this is going to be our database the namespace that we just created and then over here we'll select the tables i'm just going to select all tables for now okay and then we'll just do super super and then click on grant that's it so make sure you do these steps i have already done that steps and now we're going to proceed to the next part the next we can directly go ahead to the firehose and actually now start creating our uh, uh, data firehose or delivery delivery uh, stream right so I'll, I'll, I'll go to Kinesis Data Firos, click on Firos Stream, click on Create Firos. Here I will select Direct Put, Destination Apache Iceberg, and then I'll show you what settings we need to use. Okay, so over here, 
let me go to my notes now so um, the table name is gonna be the s3 table demo table the one that we just created right uh, prior to that this is gonna be the the database name is gonna be the resource link that we just basically saw in the lake formation uh, right so that's the resource link and the if anything went wrong uh, wrong this is gonna dump data in the error folder Okay, all of that looks good. And then here, uh, backup settings, I'm just gonna select my bucket quickly. Choose. And then select the role. So I'll select my role. And then click on create fire or stream. So, so as you can see now, my Kinesis fire is ready. And now we can start pushing some data into it. So let's uh, write some data into this, right? So what I'll do is I'll copy this one over here i have a sample script called publish data.py change that and let's write some data into this so let me do clear copy path python 3 and here you can see we are inserting data now So that's probably sufficient enough. Now we're gonna wait for a couple of seconds. Ideally, the buffer interval on my Firos is set to 300 uh, seconds. That's five minutes roughly, yeah. So after a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go to Athena and then start querying this particular data. So at this point, I'm just gonna pause the video and then resume once uh, the data has start flushing, right? So I'm gonna pause the video right here. As you can see, um, I can see uh, incoming put request, right? So I can see some data points over here. And now we'll basically head over to Athena and start querying this particular data, okay? So I'm querying the data now in Athena. So I'm on uh, AWS Athena console. Here I've selected the particular namespace and here you can see the table. Let's try preview table. And now it is running a query on my managed iceberg table. And here you can see, I can see my data. That's it, right? So we learned how to use data firewalls to uh, stream data stra straight into your Amazon S3 table bucket. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, not only that, uh, this allows you to now query the data with Athena, uh, Trino, uh, uh, DuckDB, Spark, of course, another open source engine. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Until then, keep smiling, keep programming, and I will see you in the next video.